This is a product review for the Best Choice Products Portable Compact Mini Washing Machine. Now I have to say I'm extremely impressed by this little machine. Being so small and so inexpensive, I did not expect it to kick ass like this. I use it in my RV. It's small enough to sit in the shower and light enough to take out and sit on the toilet when I need to shower. This also makes it easy to fill with both hot and cold water and easy to drain. At the time of the shooting of this video, we've used it approximately 30 to 40 times and it's still going strong. For this load, I added 34 socks and 4 underwears and there is plenty of room left over. So let's add a pair of slacks. Still plenty of room left over. You do not want to add too much soap. This is just the right amount. I once used twice this amount and had to wash the load four times before it stopped having suds. Since draining is the last thing you do before the spin, make sure before you fill it with water that the drain is closed. Then just fill it with whatever temperature of water your load requires. It comes with two water input hoses, but I don't need or use them. Turn it on for 15 minutes. You can see that the agitation is really good and the dirt is coming out fine. Once it's finished, drain it and prepare to fill it again for the rinse. Open the drain and make sure the drain tube is lowered so that it can drain. Wash it again to rinse it. Repeat as many times as necessary. As opposed to a regular washing machine where you just turn it on and forget it, since you are doing the stages manually, you can actually observe when it's clean enough. After you have drained it for the last time, move it to the spin tub. In the case of a load like this, you can do it a half a load at a time. If the wash load is full, do it in thirds. Do not overload the spin tub. When we did it once, you could smell heated rubber, but it works just fine if you don't pack it too much. This is very important. Make sure you put this disc on top of the load. For some reason, if you don't, the spin will be uneven and you'll have to stop it. The spin cycle works so well, the clothes are almost dry. I use one of these to dry things like socks and underwear, and most things are completely dry by morning. So that's it. It works great. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 10. It does everything it claims and does it well. And for under 100 bucks, I give it two enthusiastic thumbs up. Out here.